Pirate Party of Canada a fair amount, I would say. Uh, today I'm here to update you on the upcoming lawful access legislation being brought in by the Conservative Party. You may have heard some about it, you may not have. Um, it's... There, I'll show you. What is lawful access? Lawful access is a reintroduction of old, uh, old uh, legislation that was not passed when the Conservatives had a minority government. Uh, the lawful access legislation I'm speaking of was previously known as Bill C-50, C-51, and C-52. Don't let the names uh, confuse you. Uh, basically what they uh, mandate is that internet service providers dramatically redesign their networks for uh, real-time surveillance and allows the state and police to seek any of your online information without a warrant. Uh, the current status of lawful access legislation. Lawful access legislation was originally supposed to be brought in in uh, the big conservative bundle that Stockholm Day promised at the uh, beginning of the election, saying that they would bring it in within the first 100 days of Parliament if the Conservatives were given a majority government. Uh, the bill, with this uh, crime bill was called C-10, and it was initially supposed to contain the lawful access legislation. Uh, thankfully, due to our friends at Open Media, right here, be sure to go check out openmedia.ca and sign their petition if you are against online spying. Uh, their petition against online, online spying got over 70,000 uh, signatures and caused the Conservative Party to remove lawful access legislation from their uh, crime bill. Now, what I'm here to talk to you about is a program called I2P, that, or I Squared P. That's the Invisible Internet Project. Uh, the Invisible Internet Project is a uh, anonymity network that uh, allows you to be anonymous and share encrypted data without being spied on. For anyone familiar with the Onion Router or Tor, uh, I2P works very similar. Uh, it is an onion routing network, but it uh, works similar to Tor's hidden services rather than using it as an out proxy. I'm hoping I'm not losing anyone with this talk. I2P is extremely easy to install for any computer users here. You go to the website uh, and install the EXE, click next, etc., 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 and it will be installed. Uh, when you install I2P, you'll see a router console pop up. You'll also be able to uh, bring this up by just clicking on any desktop icon that you made during the process. There is web servers for free. You can host whatever you want off of your own computer for free. There is webmail that is anonymous and encrypted. And there is torrent capability. It, is, uh, it works with torrents unlike Tor, um, which is why I'm promoting it. has a built-in torrent manager called I2P Snark. Uh, you can copy your torrent files to the I2P directory where you installed the files, or you can simply copy the magnet link as we see here for the Zeitgeist when we start it. Yay! Ow. <laughs> um, yeah. There is also a very wide selection of different uh, websites you can see on the I2P darknet. Uh, they range from Russian crazy hacker websites to Bitcoin exchanges to uh, things hosted by various anonymous internet uh, activist groups. Yeah, it is really cool, and you should check it out. Also, we oh, just lost the game. Oh, we just lost the game. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> uh, any questions? <laughs> yes, it is OS X compatible, Linux compatible, and Windows compatible. So you can't mention any torrents. I'm sure some people here don't know what that is. Anyone here not know what BitTorrent is? <laughs> BitTorrent is a protocol, a peer-to-peer -peer one for exchanging files. You basically install a program like I2P and then uh, download and run torrent files in it. And you connect to other people on the internet that seed uh, the information to you that you want to uh, download. And then after you download it, you can seed it to other people. It's basically a uh, protocol for sharing files. Yeah. And what's the difference between sharing those files and, say, stealing uh, a book, like the copying information instead of removing it? Well, on the internet, we don't have scarcity, which we do have in real life. Uh, and stealing something takes an original, and copying makes a duplicate. 
And if we are to move forward as a species, we need to move past the idea of owning information and not contributing to the, uh, basically the future of our race. Woo! <laughs> <laughs>